<laughs> really? Okay, we are back again. <laughs> you know, you know, you gotta keep people on their toes. Anybody's just gonna listen to this video and just hear our squawk. It's gonna sound like a chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've gotten the best sword in the game. We've gotten. All the all the monster hunts complete, or at least the best sword as, that I can find so far. Um, we've completed all the monster hunts, and we are going to do what I think might be the final side quest of the game, da -na -na. potentially. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> all right, and now let's figure out what's going on here. Help me pack. Thanks, but I'll be traveling light. I'm almost finished already, in fact. You're really going to go through with this, then? I am. But before I go, there is one small issue I'd like your assistance with. Well, two. If it's within my power to help you, I will. Alright, what, what are you doing now? It's the children. I refuse to let them share in my disgrace. And if I leave them oh, here, boy. they surely will. Our friendship would see them ostracized forever. But I can't take them with me either. Mm. There's only one place where they are certain to be safe. Provided for and love. The hideaway. Hmm. I can do that, I think. We'll adopt the children. Of course. The children will be more than welcome. Thank you, Clive. I will not forget this. No, boy. Are you still here? What What's up? Murder? You look pale. There's no, been a flood not. in the Velcroy. A damn big one. Uh oh. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged in Ether. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was oh, those no. were the criminals that were causing. Oh dear. Oh dear God. It's a one thing, but a Kashik bandits are quite another. The town guard won't stand a chance against them. We need to evacuate. There's no time to lose. Third, I gather the men. The Akashic may strike at any moment. We must make ready to cover the townspeople's escape. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, my lord. Glad to see that he at least still, still treats him right, even though he's a bearer. Yeah. The children stay with me for now. I need you to find Conrad and Natalie. Tell them to prepare for a full and immediate evacuation. Understood. All right. I'll do what I can to convince everyone else. Wish me luck. Ah, boy. Good luck. We have a whole bunch of Akashic bandits here to attack the city, which... On the one on the one side, yay! The League of Villains that was trying to harass the town is quote unquote dead. Bad news: their corpses are now zombies. They're going to try and kill us. Panic! Ah, uh, it's you. What do you want, Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the Velcroy. The camp where the so-called League of Outlaws were gathering has been swallowed. They're no longer just bandits. They're a Kashik now. And they could be here at any moment. You need to begin preparing for a full-scale evacuation right away. Oh, do we? And who was it who gave you this disturbing news, might I ask? Really? Or perhaps the man spreading the same poison out in the square as we speak. Really? You, you guys need lies, my lord. But we know better. But why would he lie about something like this? Yeah, that's a fair point. Some twisted attempt at revenge, perhaps. Oh, how is this going to be his revenge? He may well have been elected our leader. A great honor you people are idiots. What do you think he's trying to do? I feel aggrieved at having been denied. Lord Underhill, forgive me, but it no. has become all too evident where your sympathies lie. You people are idiots. You cannot be trusted, and you may not trust me. But for the sake of your people, ask yourselves if there is any chance that this is true. There isn't. You can be certain of that. Now be off with you. You people. A mistake. You can literally just drag them out to the spot so they could see the incoming people for themselves. Words will not move them. Oh lord. Then we must find another way to ensure Dalamel's survival. Right. Let's speak to Lord Verda. All right. <clears throat> Good luck. Those people are so obsessed with him having been revealed to be a bearer that they're just completely idiotic now. I know, and it's like, oh, we think this is, we think that this is revenge. Well, what on earth would he gain from having you guys evacuate and live? They yeah. really want revenge. Wouldn't he have just let you stay? Natalie about the Akashic, but they wouldn't listen. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. Yeah. fools. Yeah, exactly. Town guard can't be counted on for support, but I can. 
If there's anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil, you only have to ask. I appreciate it. Yeah. I also have my brother. Sid, and my brother. girlfriend. I've and my dog. You What's up? Hey, man. Victor. Hi, Victor. I thought you'd left. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> What happened now? Oh, I think I think he's probably being hit by the Akashic. Hi, Dorgal. Uh oh. You have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. Oh no. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire, and they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There will be no parley, no mercy. Why granted. does this one girl? Ha Why does this one guy have no shirt on? We may have said like, once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die. What is wrong with these people? Oh my, for the love of God. Oh. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Bearer? If he He's really, warning you. If he you really would him. like you, you would actually do way. that. Like, come on. Be free to claim for yourselves. Are you kidding me? You run. Oh, hey. Are you people kidding oh. me? Whoa. Oh my God, these people. What on earth is wrong with these people? The same thing that's been wrong with all of these other people who have been doing stuff like this and abandoning children and <laughs> feeding feeding bears to wolves. Like, come on. Oh! Oh, now they're throwing rocks at children. Yeah. They yeah, what did you think is going to happen, you dipshits? <laughs> do, you little bastards. You little assholes. Yeah, you're throwing stones at children. Are you proud of yourselves? What did Lubor ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. I love this kid. <laughs> yeah. He was a good kid. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Yeah, just because he's a bearer doesn't change anything he's done. Yeah. Yeah, really. And dear Lord, bless this Lubor guy, because he keeps fixing all this stuff. Well, everybody hates him. I know. And they didn't hate him until they found out he was a bear, because he saved the kids' lives. Oh, I love you. You're being scolded by children. <laughs> bless. I don't think he's smiling right now, but that's besides the point because you guys threw rocks at him and he's bleeding. <laughs> Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, I won. oh, these kids. Okay. That that seems. By uh. running, that's what he was trying to tell you. Hmm. Okay. okay. All right, we can work with this at least. Yeah. First, can someone get him a bandage? Because <laughs> y'all threw rocks at him. Oh yeah, yeah. And had to be scolded by children. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, these two children. That looks like. Uh, okay. <laughs> All that took was the chill was people realizing, oh god, we're stoning children. We are stoning children. Who aren't bearers. 
But, yeah. but still, it's like you're still like stoning children. It's just yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Allow me to explain the situation. Also, Do we need to? We know what's happening. Well, <laughs> okay. All well, the other people are too busy not listening to Lubor. Fair point. Until the Pinkfactors decided to make it their base of operations, now they're all turned, and if the scouts' reports are correct, heading in this direction. They are mindless monsters, driven only by hate and rage. They are utterly unpredictable. With the bandits, we at least knew how and where they were likely to attack. Yeah. These creatures come, and the mill will have the bitterest fight it has ever faced on its hands. Yeah. Town guard will muster at the north gate. The rest of us will take the south. Both forces will provide men to serve as scouts and messengers. Ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic Force as soon as it is spotted. And as soon as it has been, we will converge on its position, see that it is driven back from Dalamil at all costs. Mm. Conrad, can I count on the support of the town guard? Always. I leave the selection and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor. And the command of our men in yours, Fer. If you would both be so kind. Ah, oh, bless this man. Yeah. Bless this man for being so courteous, even after everything that happened. Yeah. The townsfolk barricade themselves inside the bathhouse. And tell the merchants not to waste time securing anything beside the essentials. Preserving life is our one and only concern. Yeah. It doesn't matter what trinkets we might lose. We can always get more. And if anyone doubts that, Briar's kiss stands ready to cover any losses. Very well. I shall tell them. Okay. You come free. The most perilous place of all. <laughs> the West Gate. I would like you to travel to the home of our erstwhile league of outlaws, Cheratina itself. Oh, okay. Right, okay. The okay. is most likely still there. Dalamil will not be safe until it is eradicated, root and branch. A little gardening. I have a feeling these weeds will be particularly stubborn. It's good Don't worry, I have a sword and fire. <laughs> it's good and Clive is stubborn. Oh, yeah. Good thing I got my break sword. Yeah. That was probably the most infuriating part though. It's like this guy has done like everything for the village to the point where you know, they were ready to, like, make him the mayor nearly. Mm -hmm. And it's only when it's revealed that, oh, he's actually a bearer, that suddenly, like, everybody just loses their mind and forgets everything that he's done. Not only that, but apparently he was still doing his best to help everybody, even after everything went down. And yeah. would not have, you know, he very easily could have, you know, left town, come to the hideaway, come... To any other friend, like go to Martha's Rest, go to yeah. any he other was place actually, that was friendly. Actually, that's the thing. He was planning on leaving Aww. in the first place because people were like this, but he didn't want to leave everybody to freaking die. Mm -hmm. just, ah. And the, what do they do? They turn him away. They throw rocks at him. They they need two small children to stand up for. Well, that was amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, especially too when Conrad stepped closer to him, like like stepped up closer and. I, you could it was a little bit uncertain but the way the scene was going and the way everyone seemed to be actively ashamed of themselves yeah. it seemed like Conrad was going to try and make some sort of amends but the kid the kid like drew forces together and they closed ranks and that was kind of amazing yeah <laughs> like these kids got rocks thrown at them by adults and they didn't stop them. They stood up and they yelled at all of those adults. Bless them. Bless him. Bless these. Yeah, but still, it just shows how how extreme the the chaos was. Where it's like, oh yes, we're going to keep throwing rocks even though there are kids standing in the way. And it's not until the kids are literally injured. Like, yes, injured or falling to the ground in pain that we realize, wait, wait, what are we doing? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it took it took way too long for their blood to cool. For one thing, their blood shouldn't even got have even gotten that heart. Yelling yeah. at somebody is one thing; stoning them is another. Especially if if they're literally trying to warn you about like I a know. potential danger. I know, and he literally wasn't it. He literally said to that one like you know like 
if these guys don't come, you're all going to die. And then one lady said, oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I was like, no, if he really wanted that, he wouldn't have said anything. Yeah, he would have been warning you. At least, it, I mean, it's one thing for people to think, hey, you know, maybe they want to scare us away so they can, so we will leave and they can take the town. That's yeah. not a really, it's a logical flaw, even if it's not a kind, like, even yeah. if it's not a fair one. But you can kind of see, oh, that is a reason why the people may lie. Yes, but he's... But he literally was just, but literally that one lady was going completely against all laws because if he really would be happy if you died, he wouldn't have done anything. Yes. Like, that's where we're like, wait, for the love of God. Yeah, that was just a sort of like, for the uh, lava. Oh no, you actually swore. I know. I know, I know you did. No, and I'm not saying it for like a censorship thing. I'm saying that because you don't usually do that. Yeah. So that tells, so that tells me how much you got riled up because of that. Well, yeah, because it, it, it's one thing for all the normal racism in this game, but it's another thing when, when the person you're racist against is literally trying to save your life. Yes! I know! Ow. <laughs> and then... Yeah. I know. Oh. That, I mean, look, there's a lot of nasty stuff that happens there, but that one may be right up there with, like, killing the baby. Yeah. Killing that bear baby. Or, you know, the... the mm. dad and the son feeding the bears. The, no, not yeah. feeding. Kill, luring oh. them with the, the wolves. Yeah. Let's head back to back town. To and see how the others fared. All right. Fade to black. Fade hey. to black. Does whatever a fade to black does. Hello. Okay, the town is still in one piece, which is nice. Okay, functional. Sometime later. Only the Akashic we were able to find have been dealt with. Oh. Seems that might be the last of them. Hooray! Okay. Here, perhaps. Lubo, Sid, Clive has returned. <laughs> hey, hey, man. That's a good one. Clive! What news from Charitina? It's done. Root and branch. I have salted the earth. I knew you <laughs> wouldn't let me down. No more weeds. Thank you, my lord. You're welcome. Friends, the horde has been driven back. The Akashic have been defeated. Mm -hmm. and we need not fear the arrival of any more, thanks to Clive. Victory at least, is ours. At least not for a very, very long time. We they come from very far, far away. We saved Dalamil. Yeah, almost no thanks to you, too. Yeah, really. Allow me to apologize. You made Thank you. We're gonna have to do a lot more than that. We should never That's at least a good start. Yeah. We did, and for that we are truly sorry. You owe me a new head. Or bandages. You owe me a new head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. You have our backing. The Lord. You do remember that I'm a bearer, don't you? <laughs> Three heart. Three heart. He, you know, he is. It's a stain on ours that we treat you differently. Yes! Oh, thank yes! you! Yes! Not what you truly are. The man who saved I love it when I call the dialogue. It's so funny. Yeah. I see. That's good. But I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. Good for you, sweetie. Okay, let's see. Firstly... Mm -hmm. That you will both do everything in your power to rally your people to my cause. If the town guard and the merchants' league do not accept my leadership, it will be doomed from the start. That is fair. Yes, that is a very good point. That is fair, and you need United Unity leadership. Unity is the key to defending Dalamil. See? And I do not doubt that we shall need to call on our combined strength again. Yeah, especially yeah, if, especially if the Kashuk monsters showing up everywhere. And also whatever the hell just as we did today. Doing. Mm -hmm. Of course. You have our word. And secondly. 
He's gonna free all the bears, perhaps? <laughs> you will accept that if I am to lead you, yeah. the mistreatment of bearers must end here in Dalamil. Yes. Good. The bearer within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other citizen. They will not be judged by what they are, but who they are. Yes. Yes. As we failed to do, and came so close to losing everything. Yeah, you almost got overrun by a bunch of Akashic monsters. Yeah. And we have only one in return. Oh. That you oh. continue to work for Sorry, the I read ahead. <laughs> That's fine. I read ahead, because I'm like, excuse you. Yes. Hmm. Condition accepted. <laughs> Good for him for like staying in control and like uh, keeping it on his terms. Yes. Because it would have been special hat. <laughs> 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 the little kid in the background, the little boy folding his arms. It would have been so easy for considering how like gentle and kind he seems to be. Yes. That to... he could have just as easily like quickly accepted the apologies and stuff, but he yeah but he well he did accept the apology and he was it, it was good for him to like you know kind of be able to stand up for himself and really enact the the change and not just you know like good for you about the children fear not you are of course relieved of your responsibility. <laughs> I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. <laughs> no offense. Sure no offense. <laughs> I don't doubt that you will. And not just the children, but everyone in Dalamel. Yeah. Yes. I'll do my best. Yeah. I thought even a horde of monsters though wasn't enough to bring the citizens to their senses. It was kids getting stoned and reminding him, "Hey, he's been helping all of you for years. Mm -hmm. Quit being dicks." And then once that, although one probably having to fight against the monsters probably helps solidify everything. Yeah, the were. fact and the fact that he wasn't, you know. Yeah, he wasn't actually lying. Mm -hmm. Hi, kids. Oh, I thought we'd have some more dialogue from them, but no. Nope. <laughs> I could just see them being something like, hey. <laughs> yeah, can we get them bandages too? I mean, also. <laughs> Displayed in Clive's chambers. Yeah. Okay. What? Ooh. And they opened up my mind. Collect all six signboards. Oh, nice. Hi, Torgal. Yay. Nope. And here we go. And it looks like that might be all the side quest. And so assuming that this is the final mission, that that will be the final thing. But first we have to go check out our room to see if we've actually if, collected everything. If it is the final mission, how funny, how, I feel like it's kind of ironic that the final mission is called Origin. <laughs> That's probably the point, you know. I know, I know, I know. It's like kind of like a meaningful, ironic name, but still. All right, let's go see what we got here. I was singing along the music of the of the of the place, and then you just ran and we started a different song. Ah, uh, yes, I did. Uh, I'm still missing two treasures. Oh, hmm. that's weird. Maybe they will come about like from the actual mission. Hangman signboard. Martha's rest signboard. Veil signboard. Uh, guardian scarf. Sir Wade. Yeah. Uh -huh. Briar's Kiss signboard. Crimson Caravan signboard. Aw. Yep. Clay Hearth signboard. Rusted Battle Helm. From. Oh, from the dad. <laughs> yep. Our shoot Gellords. Yep. Snow Daisy Garland. Yay. A fragrant daisies hand woven by Jill from flowers picked on the shores of the bay. The garland uh, rekindles memories of more innocent time and speaks of love that can never fade. fade. Oh, I, I was thinking it said die, but it didn't look right. It says Godwood. Aww. Uh, Final airship. Miss Dungeon's uh, dream of flight immortalized in miniature. Though the experiment ended in failure, Mid has allowed Clive to keep hold of the model so that he, uh, once... So that once her renown has grown, he might sell the piece for an exorbitant amount of guilt. <laughs> the Trinity Accord. Oh, this is the signed um, document of the people when they were like talking. 
like when uh, the uncle was like bringing the people yeah, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. Stole his quill. <laughs> Scholar's bonnet. Vivian's academic cat. Yeah. Winter mead from Gav from the uh, quest we just did. Yeah. Continental courser. Oh, for his yeah. uh, sorry. For his assistance in clearing her name. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The Mar Mar Martel apples. Yeah. Ambrosia's tack. Yeah. The sparring sword. The charred sparring sword. Yeah. Oh, the Torgo found. Yeah. Aww. And yet we're still missing two, which I'm assuming might actually be the result of the, um, what's it called? The, fi the final mission might, you know, give me more collectible. Treasures. I think so, because at the moment there's no other quest for me to do. And my only thing is now is like, should I start the final mission or should I wait? Mm. Because we're not going to be able to get through it all today, and we only have like half an hour left on this video, so do you want to start today and leave on a cliffhanger, or do you just want to start next video? I don't know. What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm so, I'm very split. That's why I asked hang on, you. Hang on, hang on. I'm going to get a coin. I'm going to get a coin. Right, there's a coin. Right, there's coins here in our unicorn fund. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'll just be looking around the map at, at everything we've destroyed. Well, that's great. <laughs> Memories. Can I open this? Come in. Come in. You can do it. You are a functional box. You got this. I'm just going around the very edge of the map. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Seeing where the invisible walls are. Okay. So, what's going to be heads and what's going to be tails? Um, heads is to start the final mission now. Tails is to start the final mission next episode. Okay, here we go. And oh, no, 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 no. nope, that was a fail. Oh god, let me try that again. <laughs> it is heads. So we start today. We start today. Yep, we'll start today at least, and then we will leave off on a cliffhanger at some point. Okay. So with which we apologize. <laughs> Just apologize in yep. advance. And because there are no other side quests, we're off to origin. Are you ready, my lady? Yes. Okay. Here we go. I just hope we don't have to pause in the middle of a giant battle. Or cutscene. Yeah. Oh, you're getting like a little farewell. This is adorable. I think this is what this is. Everyone I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah. Hi. That's right. That's right. Dion has to go take you. <laughs> to help make sure that Phoenix still has the power to... Yeah, because poor Joshua does not take his medicine and needs a nap. Bye. Yeah. If you see me dad up there, tell him we were right to leave his legacy for you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for hugging her. Oh, my God. <gasps> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Sid loves sporting events. <laughs> when, has she, when has she ever? We'll see. Yeah, see, we'll see. see. Exactly. Girl broke a whole ass castle. Oh. Girl crashed her ship into a castle. Girl crashed her ship into a castle. Oh. <laughs> Dion, Dion does not know how to react. Dion is learning how to deal with affection. <laughs> well, at least affection from these people. Yes. Hi, Gav. Hopefully, you suburbed up since I saw you last. What does Ty have to say about that? Yay! Bro, I'm, I'm loving that they're actually hugging. This is so nice. I know they've hugged, and I know that there's been hugs in other cutscenes, but there's so many hugs happening here, and I love it. Yeah, I'm hugging you. Come here. I'm being hugged out. Sorry. You sound like bookworm, dear lord. <laughs> that was not intentional. Okay, come on, hug her, hug her. Sorry. <laughs> 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 
face. Look at his little face. <laughs> 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 Are you gonna hug her? Are you gonna hug her? Uh, she's uh, not very a huggy person. That's fair. No, that's she is the very. Uh, she's a angry, very grumbly medic. Basically, McCoy. Yes. Come on, group hug with Uncle Byron. Group hug with Uncle Byron. Come on, come on, come on, group hug. Everybody, group hug. No, they haven't group hugged their uncle again. Please. We still need to kiss Jill. Yes, please. Not quite. And are we taking Torgo with us? Please. Please take the dog. This dog has been with... This dog... Has been with you from most of the game. I know. I mean, on one hand, I feel like if, I feel like we probably shouldn't take Torgo into this very dangerous thing. Oh, no, oh we're not no. taking the dog. No. I know. I know. At the very least, you know, Tor or at least we know that Torgal is likely to survive now. Yes. But even still, like, come on. Yes, hug the dog. Hug the dog. <laughs> but even no, oh, he's snuffling at you. That's so cute. But even still, it's like, no, come on. Come on. Torgal has saved your life multiple times. You may need him up there. Yes, but at the same time, we don't, don't want Bahamut to accidentally kill Torgal. We don't know what's going to happen when he goes to Bahamut. No, no one that he has told, took his powers from has ever well, um, fully primed and well, had, had control over it. Fair. Good luck. Here's hoping he... Yeah, wait a minute. I feel like this could be really dangerous then. Come on. It is really dangerous. That's the point. I know, but this could be really dangerous for the, you know, for like the hideaway. Are they going to go a distance? I, I have a feeling Aww. they are. <laughs> uh. I love you, Jill. <laughs> so he doesn't accidentally destroy that either way. Oh my god, come on, Jill. Come on, baby. Come on. It's okay. Kiss him. It's okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they pulled a Star Wars. There we go. That's, that's, that's better than Star Wars. Thank you. Oh, that, that, Star, Star Wars is a classic, though. Maybe. And you know what? They kind of did. It. They kind of did it both. The whole like I, besides Leia got her come back in the next movie, <laughs> where he did the same thing, and then she's like, I know. <laughs> Why are you making me smack you in the face? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. Why am I rubbing your eye? <laughs> because dramatic scene. Oh, 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 oh. oh hey, everybody, hi guys. Where did you all come from? Somewhere. Over the Everyone's river. just watching me. Everyone, I mean, yeah, look at Gab. Look at Gab's little face. Yeah. <laughs> Gab almost looks like he's smiling at you. Yeah. <laughs> if this wasn't a sign that this is the final battle, nothing is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't okay. worry, I have the sword that, that's designed to kill God. That's okay. The power of Twilight Sparkle compels me. Targal! Oh, we are definitely turning into Bahamut over here. Oh, God! Why? <laughs> You're so big. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're so big it doesn't go too crazy. Too close to the hideaway, you ridiculous people. Come on. Jill! Don't worry, we'll be okay. We're riding a dragon! We're riding a dragon! I have a feeling that, that um, Dion might not survive, but... Mm. Don't worry, Jill. We're just gonna go punch God in the face. Then we'll be back. I mean, I hope. Well, here's uh, we, punch, we we may have to punch him more than once. Dear Lord, where are you, boys? Oh, you're up there. Okay, you're doing you're doing fine. You're doing fine. He hasn't killed you yet. <laughs> Everything's going great. Origin. Origin. How are we gonna get inside that thing? Oh god, maybe, maybe Bahamut will break open the door for you. Maybe, uh, oh my uh, god! Here they come! Hold on, Joshua! Already out! <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> I love that. Hold on, already am. 
<laughs> okay, all right. Your boys are good. <laughs> oh my god, there's like swarms of them. Lord. It's like a swarm of bees attacking like a hawk yeah. or something. Yeah, really. Or, um... Or the little paper birds attacking Yes, Haku. I was just thinking of yeah. that. It's going to make us a way in. Doc! Well, oh, at, dang. He is at least... He at least is not fully berserk, so that's nice. Yes, and he just took out a whole bunch of them. Hey, so. thanks, but thanks, Dion. Dion, get us inside. Hurry. Well, to, for what it's worth, they are trying to—they are trying to make sure to, clean, mm -hmm. to keep an eye out, make sure you know nothing major is gonna come storming out of the tunnel before they have a chance to clear it. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh jeez, I wonder if this Whoa. is just gonna be the the, the boss fight itself. <laughs> oh god, we may have to stop here anyway. We got the emotional cutscene. We have to stop before the final battle. Oh no! It, oh no! It's like a city. Whoa! Oh. I, that, that is much. I thought it was just like an arena. No, this is much bigger than I thought it was. Maybe the city will become the arena. Oh, oh no! That is the city. It's the city that was destroyed. That's it. It's origin. <laughs> Savage. Oh my god. Yeah, that tower that was where in the city too. Began, where it all begins. Our arc. Your uh. architect. Uh. There you are. It was here that we slumbered. Here that we waited for centuries, clinging to our decrepit shell for fear that we might have need of it once again. Yeah. But you have come at last. To kill you. Yeah, to kill you. And Look. now we shall be truly complete. Bahamut, please shoot him in the face. You're hoping he doesn't just can you just eat him? With could, could that work? Could you eat him? No, that would definitely not work. There's three of us and one of him. Clive, uh, Clive, don't. Clive, Speedy. Woohoo! <laughs> Careful, boys. He don't exactly have a like a paraglider or anything. Yeah. Oh God, hello. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, they combined. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Phoenix is carrying Ifrit, I love that. We will show you what it means to suffer. Uh oh. Oh, he's got his own Ifrit. Yeah, that's right, that's right, we did. Yeah. It. Oh, he looks like the combination of the two of them. Which probably makes sense. Oh, it is just the mouse battle time. Ah! Do we have time for this? Well, we'll have to see. Would we be able to pause in the middle of the boss battle if necessary? Ow! Um, potentially, as long as we don't turn off the console. Ow, that. I, I can work with that. <laughs> really? Oh, we did zero damage to him. Oh. Oh, all three of you have the same bar. Yep. Hello. Uh, this might just be a cutscene thing then and not the actual fight, at which point we're just going to lose. Okay. <laughs> Five best uh, Yeah. Oh, God. We did over 200,000 damage and it still did almost nothing to him. Look oh. at his health bar. It's he, like. He is a god. It, well, yeah. he's, he's some sort of deity, like, yeah. you know, here. Yeah. Ah! Uh, Hang on, Joshua, you're okay. Hang on, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's trying, he's trying. <laughs> I'm uh. sorry. <laughs> Ow. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh! Lord, 
where even is Joshua? He dropped Clive. I don't know. But we are not doing well here. Like I said, this might just be a force lose cutscene style battle. Uh, Ow! Uh, Headbutt. Ow! Yeah, not this time. Good job, Clark. Thank you! I'm glad you're alive! <laughs> No, it's always nice that this guy is in control of himself. Mm. Okay, at least that's actually doing damage to yeah, him, yeah. even if oh, he has a yeah. shield. Yeah, you, but it's you, you did more damage there than you have in the past. It's not yeah. a lot, but it's more. Yeah. <gasps> oh, look at the blue flame, yeah. like flames you know. on his chest. Yeah, that's. That's where he was keeping Ultima. Yeah, but we're still we're still vastly out outgunned at the moment. Yeah. Oh no. What if Joshua is forced to give up his hold on Ultima and the, in order to save himself and he, he ends up giving Ultima even oh. more power. Oh, look at that. We're we're doing a we're doing a Triforce thing. Alright. Yes, I'm here <clears> for it. Literally hit him with the power of the sun! Get him! Get him! Oh, the health bar disappeared. Uh-oh. Try disaster! <laughs> basically, the, basically the Final Fantasy equivalent of the Bermuda Triangle here. Hello. Ultima Prime thwarted. That's that's no way the end. <laughs> you got no experience from that. Well, yeah. You have if we're in the last battle, it makes sense. Oh. And you only surrendered. This unpleasantness could have been avoided. Uh-oh. Uh, where are you going? What's happening? <gasps> no! Oh, no! Uh, ow. It looks it's like so he cool. only has one wing. Ow, oh, I mean. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is he... <clears throat> He's a... He'll be okay. He only has one wing. Yeah, it looks like he broke. He's keeping up right properly. Oh god, he's the one-winged angel. Ah, <laughs> panic! Oh, we may have burned off his other wing. Yeah. Oh no. No, 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 Joshua, no, no. I know it. No, Joshua, son of a bitch. No! Bahamut! Oh my god! Oh, Bahamut, oh, you're caught. Yeah. I don't want you to do this either! Go! Save your brother! Oh, I don't want you to do this either. Why does this have to happen? Well... Because Dion has to make amends. Oh, uh, I feel like if this, uh... I just think it's like amends is... He's uh, at least trying to stop Ultima from doing more of what he did before. Yeah. Which is, you know... Drive him mad and stick yeah. him on uh. everybody. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Dion! Dion may have Dion may have been destroyed, but they oh. oh 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 he's still alive. No, he may not be alive. No. No, not the head one again. No. Oh god. Oh no, we're not gonna be able to get him. No, he's. But he 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 hit Ultima's final form, which may. Give us the weakness that we yeah. need. I honestly, I did not expect him to survive the, from the moment we started. Just yeah, I would still, he did more than I could have thought of. But yeah, 
that moment. Joshua, hey buddy, are you okay? <laughs> no, no you're not. Where even are you? Oh god. Clive! Clive! Okay, there you are. Ow! Damn lord, you're, mir no. you're miraculously <laughs> not killed by all the rubble around you. Hello. Potentially. Well, I'm miraculously in one piece at least. You're at least not buried. Hello. Yeah. You're at least not buried. Hello. Uh. Are you Paulo? No. Oh, Josh. Joshua, hang on. Yeah, help me. I'm alive, but I feel like every bone in my body has been broken. It may know. have been. Hi. Hi, honey. Are you okay? <laughs> Joshua. Hi, baby. Oh, look at all that blood on your mouth, honey. Uh. Oh, you poor thing. Both of you. Thank the founder. Okay, jo I'm just waiting for Joshua to just kill over. Okay, so another question is, what do we do next? What on earth happens? Like we, oh, look at that. Now we're going to sit with Joshua and just take a minute. Yeah, we definitely did not do well against Ultima. No. <laughs> Even with that, like, try disaster. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that makes two of us. Yeah, you're the one who... You actually have blood on your mouth, honey. Oh my god, look at his chest oh. wound. I don't think he made it, no. No, he didn't. Oh, I need the chest. Oh, you look awful. This is the first time I've actually seen the chest wound. It looks terrible. Oh my god. Mm. No, I told you, I mean... no, 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 sweetie, no. Are you, sh oh. Are you sure you oh. took your medicine? Oh, there's so much blood. Uh, it's... Come on. Thank you. You're welcome. Aww. <laughs> Come here, you multi cheese boys. Come on. Oh god, and this is how we have to continue oh. the core. How are we doing with time? Um, we only have like 12 minutes, so maybe we should just save here and then continue next yeah. episode. Yeah, that's a good dramatic oh. place to end. That's oh, fun. look, we can still travel back to other places. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess there's an obelisk in here somewhere. Uh, yeah. It's not quite a cliffhanger, but it's... um. It's a good place to it's stop. It's a good place to stop, and you still have the same unsettled feeling that a cliffhanger gives you, just, you know... Less severe. Less severe. Yes. Jesus Christ. Um, we shall see you all next time when we conclude the game, hopefully, in the next episode, <laughs> if not in the episode after. See you all next time on Final Fantasy sixteen, where we potentially start crying, and by we, I mean me. And I'll, I might cry too. And and we then might potentially kill God. Okay. Or at least punch God in the face for real this time. <laughs> Tune in next time where we punch God and cry a little. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Internet. Good night, Internet. <laughs>